While tearing paper, we will create an arrangement inspired by associations with shapes. Practice imaginative thinking, learn about the grain of the paper, be able to tear with or against the grain of the paper to produce a desired effect, and be introduced to glue sticks and how to use and care for them. Materials, construction paper, and nine by 12 paper. Vocabulary, construction paper, grain, tear, freeform, organic, imagination, and arrangement. Can you guess how Frederick was created? By tearing. Today we are going to explore a tool and a material that you use every day, your hands and paper. We are going to create shapes by tearing. Hands are one of our most important tools and the placement of them makes a difference. Your thumb, pointer, and middle fingers are going to be the most important tools for what we do today. Paper is made of small fibers, almost the same way that a blanket is made of thread. The way these fibers or threads are arranged forms what is called the grain of the paper. Watch what happens when I tear with the grain of the paper. Watch what happens when I tear against the grain of the paper. When tearing with the grain of the paper, I am able to make a fairly straight tear. When tearing against the grain of the paper, I never know what shape I will get. Now it's your turn to tear paper. What do you notice about the shape of your paper? What is the most interesting shape you have torn? When you find a shape that looks like an object or an animal, you are using the power of your imagination. You can tear specific shapes if you keep your thumbs together as you tear. While you might not get the exact shape you want, tearing accidental shapes is one way to open yourself up to discovering new ideas. When you tear shapes with their own special qualities that could not be achieved by using scissors, you have made freeform or organic shapes. For this project, you are going to arrange paper shapes after tearing them. You will select five to seven shapes and arrange them on a background until you are pleased with the design. You should put down your big shapes first and overlap shapes so your colored paper doesn't go off the page. When using your glue stick, make sure you roll it up, but not too high. When you're finished using your glue stick, roll it down and make sure the top closes with a snap. 